great health and fitness and an athletic physique are not too much to ask for from your training. And these are not extreme outcomes. They should be the probable outcome of a consistent, healthy lifestyle and good training. And just to be clear, by great health, I mean that you're free of any major lifestyle driven diseases. And by general fitness, I mean that you're not limited by your fitness. So you can do whatever you want to do in terms of daily life, including sports, hobbies, and you can handle random things that might challenge you physically. And by aesthetics, I mean, you know, being relatively lean and muscular. So a trim waist, maybe with some visible abs and good overall visible muscularity. So nothing too extreme in any one domain. So this doesn't require bodybuilder size or power lifter strength or gymnast technical skills. You know, you can do this all from home with minimal equipment and just basic exercises. It's general well-rounded health, fitness, and aesthetics. And while it's not extreme at all, it certainly isn't common. And even if you might feel like you're far away from achieving that, the path to get there is not complicated or extreme. And if you really want to increase the probability you get there and stay there, it almost can't be complicated or extreme. But when there's a large gap between where you are and where you want to be, it can feel like it can only be bridged by really pushing things to the limit. You know, if you shoot for the 600 pound deadlift or the bodybuilder physique or a full planche and all the other, you know, gymnastic skills, then even if you don't achieve those goals, you're going to end up in great shape just trying to get there. And while that's certainly possible, I don't think it actually works that way most of the time because that type of training is highly specialized and highly specialized training seeks to maximize your performance within a very narrow scope of adaptation and, and often requires sacrificing other fitness qualities and other health considerations that get in the way. And the further you push down one domain of fitness, the more extreme your training has to get in order to keep things moving and the more it exposes you to risk and you increase the probability that things just go sideways on you. So the strategy that you use to push the absolute limit is not what will allow you to train forever. It's unsustainable by definition. Now, this doesn't mean you shouldn't train hard, but if your goals are more easily attained by you sacrificing your health or other fitness qualities or your body composition, then don't be surprised if you end up doing just that as you try to achieve them. Now, I'm not telling you what your goal should be, and I'm not saying you shouldn't bodybuild or practice gymnastic skills or power lift or that there aren't really useful things from those disciplines that you can borrow and you know integrate into your own training. I'm just saying that if your goals are simply to have excellent health and well-rounded fitness and a great physique that you can sustain over time, you don't need to train like a bodybuilder or a power lifter or a gymnast. Simple as that. I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.